Hello, my name is Kylie and welcome to the video about exponents. Exponents are another type of math operation. You're already familiar with the core forms of math, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Exponents tell us to do something in particular to a number, and they're written quite uniquely. Let me show you what I mean. Let's think about how we learned what multiplication is all about. For example, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 can be written more simply as 3 times 4. And just like that, if we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, we can use exponents to write it as 3 to the 4th power. So what number do we get if we multiply 3 4 times with itself, or 3 to the 4th power? But be super careful, 3 to the 4th power is not the same as 3 times 4. This example, 3 is the base, and this tiny 4 written above and to the right of the number is the exponent or the power. We say that we are raising 3 to the exponent, or power, of 4. We can also say 3 to the 4th. We get the answer by multiplying 3 to itself as many times as the exponent. Our exponent is 4, so we multiply 3 times itself four times. Three times three times three times three. Which gives us 81 as the answer. Because three times three is nine, nine times three is 27, and 27 times three is 81. The base and exponents change. Any number can be the base and any number can be the exponent. However, there are some tricky exponents to remember. For instance, when the exponent is 1, the answer is just the base 3 to the first power equals 3. When the exponent is 0, the answer is always 1. Look at these examples. 3 to the 0 power equals 1. 6 to the 0 power equals 1. 10 to the 0 power equals 1. And 2,500 to the 0 power equals 1. Here are a few more examples of raising a number to an exponent. We read this as 4 to the power of 2. But whenever there is a power of 2, we can also say it is squared. So we can read this as 4 squared. To solve this, you can ask yourself, what is 4 times 4? The answer is 16. Let's solve one final problem together. We read this as 10 to the power of 4. And you can ask yourself, what is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10? Well, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. So the answer is 10,000. But I'll let you in on a little trick. There's a really easy way to show 10 to a power. All you do is just add zeros to the end. So if the exponent tells you how many zeros you need, in this example, you have four zeros to add because it was 10 to the fourth power. 
So 10 with four zeros is 10,000. Look at how powerful you are now that you know all about powers or exponents. Practice raising numbers to different exponents on our fun online games. And remember to always be clever. Hey.